All right, so I already I can hear the hate in my head of people yelling at me. This is Taz's uh, truck. Taz is a construction foreman that did some paint work for me to help me recoat my roof so that there's no leaks and the foam is not exposed. And he was nice enough to do that last week. And so I was like, thank you very much. This is how I want to reward you. And so we're going to jizz llama out his fucking system. So he's getting the jizz llama 1000 slash one. Very nice. Uh, it is only 1600 watts, which is about half power for the subs. We're going with the Jizz Llama Fister series, which of course I'm going to write Jizz Llama on those JL decals to, to make sure nobody thinks that these are JL woofers. So we're doing 415s. Uh, and uh, this is what's known as a practical install. It's only about performance. It's not about biscuit cushions. It's not about upholstery. It's not about having a, a mural of a Aztec busty bikini chick on the hood. It's not about that at all. It's about function. He's a construction worker and his requests were, I would like this system to be able to be at a construction site, play all day. So we were doing two batteries, two extra batteries. Um, <laughs> I told Hayden, Hayden was like, why don't you do a video? And I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, mostly just because people then go, they start, they complain about my install skills. And I'm like, I can do top end work. I used to make million dollar wafer polishers for the semiconductor industry. This is not that. <laughs> so this does not deserve that level of attention in that many hours. Uh, this is just Taz going to work and wanting not to like run out of gas and or run out of uh, electricity on his way to the construction site and having plenty of charge time, uh, run time, uh, where he can turn off the, uh, engine and play it while he's at the construction site so but uh we're doing a battery isolator 500 amp battery isolator from recoil which whatever they're going for i think they're going for like 50 bucks on amazon i'll give it to you for cheaper whatever 40 bucks i don't give a shit uh and then we're doing the class d uh i like this one actually um you know maybe we'll switch to the recoil one just because the recoil one's more powerful and uh, um this one's 50 amp uh, which is the dual uh, brand again, they don't make anything, so it's whatever generic Chinese. Um, and then we're going to do four 6.9s across the top, so each channel is going to run two ohm. Uh, he's got the recoil um, RAX uh, rose gold coaxials in the doors, uh, six and a half. So we had a guy install that last week. He does have a Soundstream uh, head unit, not that it's fancy or at all, um, but I want to replace that with. Uh, just a Bluetooth, $5 Bluetooth module. Uh, it's Bluetooth 4.0 or, or better, probably Bluetooth 5. And uh, no, it's Bluetooth 4, because Bluetooth 5 has uh, send and receive. Uh, so it's just Bluetooth 4 module. And then uh, that way we can turn that cubby into a place where you can put his smokes and his uh, phone and things like that. And so, but yeah, so also uh, wet cells in the cabin. It's fine. Uh, BMW does it. Uh, who else does it? Chrysler. Um, they go, no, there's venting. And, uh, no, the, no. It's, if you smell the stink, your batteries are overcharging. So if I can, what I'd love to do is install some BMS on here. So that way it just keeps really good, accurate charge of these guys. And that's really all you need. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with running wet cells in your vehicle. Um, that's, but that's, that's the scare tactic that uh, Johnson Controls um, has been using for years to sell you this $300 piece of shit. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it's just, it's not magic. It's just a, it's just a, uh, AGM battery. So other than that, um, this is actually cleaner than when we got it from Taz. Typically, uh, it looks like that. I don't know if you can see in there. And then he's got a ton of shit back there that he just keeps for his construction site. But Taz is just a, uh, he's a biker. He, uh, um, watch for motorcycles because he's on them. Uh, he's just a, a good, uh, you know, hardworking guy that uh, likes pussy, likes uh, audio, and wants to have a good time. And so that's the guy I want to. He's very helpful and he's honest with me. And so I want to reward that. And we worked out a really good deal. And I, I want him actually to flip this system, even though it's bolted in there. We bolted the boxes in there and then put the subs in. But. Um, uh, I want him to actually flip it, but he'll probably never do it. So, but uh, the Fister series, uh, of course, is totally not 
uh, the Audio Legion Gladiator series. Uh, totally not, because obviously, because there's a there's a different dust cap with a different logo on it. So now it's not Audio Legion, of course. It's the Fister series from Jizlama. And those are 800 watts RMS each. And so you're like, well, that's for 3,200 watts of uh, power handling being powered by 1,600 watt amp. That's the way it should be. You should run about half power on your subs, especially if they're going to run all day. That way you don't run the risk of blowing your uh, subwoofers. Uh, they can play a really long time, especially because we're doing sealed. So we're going to do sealed with a little bit of bass boost. And that way we were able to use these prefab boxes uh, with adapters because uh, we have a shit ton of them. Let me, I want to move too quickly. So I was training Chrissy today on the magnetizer. So that was fun for her. I made her go get her shoes on. But uh, I got a bunch of these boxes from, uh, it was the Onyx Audio closeouts. And these are being furted. I had uh, Ben uh, drill these out and we're gonna put PVC down them. And then we're gonna do them as a single 15. They end up being about 3.1, 3.2 cubic feet. So they're perfect for most 15s. And uh, then we tune them to like 34 Hertz with a dual four inch ports, just regular PVC. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, yeah, we got these from, uh, it was actually Nate, Nathan from, uh, well, indirectly through Nathan from uh, Sonic Electronics. So um, Canon Electronics, who's our refurbisher, which if you wanna be a dealer, contact him and tell him you're like, hey, I wanna do a thousand dollar buy-in and he'll make you a reseller. I, th I think so. Um, he doesn't really like you guys to, to contact him directly. He only likes to do like through me or through somebody else. But if you contact him and tell him you want to, you need uh, this week's uh, price sheet of what equipment he has available and you're willing to spend a thousand dollars, then, you know, hopefully he won't turn it down. Um, mostly just because he's busy and he doesn't want to deal with stupid people. So, but if you have a thousand dollars, you're actually pretty smart and you can buy amps from him and resell them. So anyways, um, he also buys closeouts, which is where I got my bookshelf speakers from and a bunch of, I have like probably 500 pair of uh, these uh, Boss coaxials, uh, which are great because I can offer them at really, really cheap. And then, uh, but I got these boxes because Nathan at Sonic Electronics uh, took them on time and he didn't want to pay. So, <laughs> so he had to take them all back. And um, uh, he, uh, David Shen, uh, David had, uh, he's like, hey, Patrick, will you take all these boxes? Do you have room? And I was like, yeah, I got room. And uh, it's because I got this big place. And uh, he's like, I'll, I'll give them to you on time. Just make sure you make payments. And I was like, fuck yeah. So I ended up giving like $1,000 down. And then he financed the rest. And uh, I paid him off a long time ago, but I was like, I it, it thought it was great that I got this deal because, you know, some rich guy didn't pay his fucking bill to a vendor. <laughs> the deals are out there, guys, but you got to have uh, the capital available. And that's why I recommend building up your credit and having nice credit cards. And uh, and then, you know, right before you die, you know, you, you feel like you need to give some stripper a bunch of money on your Amex card. So. Anyways, <laughs> I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. That's my install. Uh, and just so you know, I, uh, I I did very little work on it. I actually had Hayden do a lot of the work. Um, but those are, um, yeah, 99.9% .9 of the installs that I've ever done in my life uh, look like that. Uh, and that's bread and butter, dude. That's nobody cares. Nobody, uh, the user um, doesn't mind that because of their price that they're paying. So, and it's okay. And not everything has to be perfect and, and, and powder coated and, and, uh, you know, have the punch logo or whatever the JL, uh, embroidered carpet. <laughs> now you, you say, Patrick, you could do better. Yeah, you're right. I could do better. It's, but the money is not there. If you now, my, again, most of my clients are poor. And so I want to help them. And that's the way that I help them is I give them something they, that would cost them twice as much at a shop. And I'm like, nope, that's too much. And so I give them that deal. See, see how that works? And you can do the same thing in your neck of the woods. And that's what I do with these guys. Um, I still will offer these. I'll probably do them for 25 bucks each. Uh, but at that price, you can probably, yeah, you almost, well, this one's more powerful. There's probably like 400 watts. Uh, the recoil subs. I want to remind you that the recoil subs are still on sale on the recoil audio website. 
You can also buy them for me, the eight inch and the 10 inch and the 12 inch all play down to 30 Hertz or lower. And uh, I think the 10 plays at 31. So I think it's just a little off a little bit, but right around 30 Hertz. And uh, the eights are $36 each shipped, which I found out there's an equivalent from, uh, what was it, DS18. They're selling the same, basically the same woofer for $63 shipped. So again, there's nothing wrong with the pricing. There's nothing like some people, sometimes it's too cheap and people freak out. They're like, oh, this is too cheap. This is, this is some Chinese guy trying to steal my credit card number. Nope, I don't want your credit card number. Uh, this is the real deal. Uh, and you can, and if you want to buy from me, then buy from me. If you want to buy through uh, Recoil and use your credit card, buy through Recoil and use your credit card. Uh, eights are 36 bucks each. Tens are $42 each. And then 12s are about $49, $50 each. So, and they're great subs. Love you. Bye.